Hey guys, today I have the following question for you. Given Python's random function that returns a random value between 0 and 1, the task is to approximate pi using this function. This may seem a little bit undoable at first, but actually there's a pretty nice way to do it. And if you want to give this problem a try, pause this video here, and otherwise I will just talk you through my solution. For the solution, let's look at this circle here with radius 1 and look at the surrounding square with a side length of 2. Specifically, we just want to look at the top right quadrant of this square. And inside this top right quadrant, we can place some random points using our random function. They will look like this, for example. So I just um, used the random function to generate x and y coordinates between 0 and 1. Now we can mark those points with two colors. The yellow points are inside the circle and the blue points are outside of the circle. If we now mark those two areas, we can see an approximation that will give us an approximation of pi. So, and this approximation is that the yellow area divided by the green area is approximately the number of yellow points divided by the number of all points. So just let us take a closer look at those two areas. First of all, the yellow area is a quarter of the whole circle. So we have the area as pi times r squared divided by 4. And because r is 1 in our case, we just have pi divided by 4. The green area, on the other hand, is just a square with side lengths 1. So the area is 1. Now let's use our values and substitute them in the approximation above. And we will see that we have pi divided by 4 divided by 1 is approximately the number of yellow points divided by the number of all points. So to calculate pi now, we just have to bring the 4 to the other side. And we get pi is approximately four times the number of yellow points divided by the number of all points. And when we write a program to calculate this, we already have the number of all points. And the only question is, what is the number of yellow points? So how many yellow points are there? And to get this number, we can use the following condition. The distance of the yellow points to the center of the circle must be less than one. When this condition is met, the point is yellow and inside the circle. If it, the distance is greater than 1, the point will be blue and outside of the circle. And we can calculate the distance using the square root of the squared x coordinate plus the squared y coordinate. And now we have everything together to write our code. Okay, now let's take a look at the code. First of all, let's import the random module and set a counter variable called points inside the circle and we set it to 1. Now we just have to generate our points and see which one of them have a distance that is less than 1 to the center of the circle. Therefore, let's use a for loop, maybe to 1000 at first and generate coordinates with the random function out of the random module. Now let's calculate the distance of our points to the center of the circle. Like this. Now let's check if our distance is less than one. And in this case, we increase the number of points in the circle by one. And we're basically done with our counting of all the points inside the circle. And now we can just say that pi is equal to four times the number of points in the circle divided by 1000. And 1000 is the number of all points. Now, if we print pi, we will see that we get three dot 084, which is a pretty bad approximation of Python. So we can maybe increase this by three zeros. 
and we can see that we have at least um, 3.1421, which is a little bit closer to pi, but still it's a very bad approximation because of the random numbers. But actually, this was not the point to get the best approximation of pi, but to get an approximation of pi using the random module. So I hope this video helped you. Subscribe for more interesting interview questions, and I see you in the next video.